Hey guys, welcome back to our urban homestead and we are heading to one of our favorite uh, farmers markets. It's called Horrocks. There's three of them that I know of in Michigan. We are going to the one in Battle Creek. They recently just moved into a larger building. I have not seen it since they moved and I am so ready. So I hope you enjoy and uh, we're gassing up and we're going. They have all different kinds of salts. Look at that, that sounds delicious, doesn't it? Salts and spices. Habanero sea salt, that sounds good too. Uh, local honey. You can do your own peanut butter. My favorite area. The greenhouse. It smells so good in here, you guys. So we're gonna take a look around and I'll show you if we come across anything interesting. Look at this variegated sage. I've never seen that before. Tricolor sage. They also have a huge wine selection. They have a wine bar and a beer area. You can get a glass of wine or beer while you're shopping. But the selection is just absolutely humongous. They have a bunch of different tea blends. They also have a huge variety of cheeses. Literally any kind of cheese you could think of, they have it. So, so good. They also make soups daily and have a huge selection. A huge selection of uh, bratwurst, they are all made fresh here in house. Sausage for days. <laughs> you can also buy it in bulk, and they have um, like jerky sticks. All different kinds. Jerky dip, that sounds delicious. And fresh meats are down here. Look at how thick and gorgeous these cuts of meat are. Got some tomahawk ribeyes. Those T-bones look absolutely gorgeous. They also have a huge selection of jams, uh, butters, salsas, pickles, you name it, they have it. And they um, actually make it all themselves, which is really, really awesome. Yum. I'm looking for the marinated mushrooms. <laughs> They have a large selection of different kinds of oil. Um, they also have some balsamic vinegars, bacon, olive oil, shut up. That, that is good. Pesto olive oil, I bet that's really good. I bet that is excellent as well. Mmm. Apricot balsamic. Yum! You guys, you know I gotta taste that. Alright, we're gonna try it, guys. It really smells like a pickle. <laughs> Mmm. 
Oh, that's so good. Oh, yeah, baby. Then they have aisles of like condiments, uh, sauces, pastas, all of that kind of stuff. We've got some uh, specialty chocolates here. Yes, please. Yum. <laughs> Got some fudges and truffles, some, uh, you know, the candy, sweet and sour mini gummies. I'm not big on candy though, so. So now we are at the produce section, and it's absolutely massive. Um, just seriously any kind of produce you could think of from all over. <laughs> so we come to our favorite little place, uh, Nina's. I always get the same thing with Jimmy Changa, but look at April's. I mean, the thing is humongous. It's bigger than my head. <laughs> so we are going to enjoy our lunch. Our lunch was delicious as usual. Now we're gonna head home and I'll show you what we got at Horrocks. So we're home now. I hope you enjoyed some of the store clips that I got in there. It was really hard for me to film in there. Um, it was very busy and there was just so much to see. It was a uh, sensory overload for April. <laughs> So uh, a little bit about that store, they, I believe there's only three in Michigan. I know there's one in Lansing, um, Grand Rapids, and then Battle Creek. Um, the really cool thing about that store is in the summertime, their produce section is filled with nothing but local produce. They still have, um, like the really obscure produce that you can't find, like specialty produce, um, but it's literally filled with Michigan produce that's all locally grown. Um, I used to sell them my morel mushrooms. Um, their wild mushroom selection is just fabulous. I didn't, I didn't see the mushroom section. Um, so I don't know if anyone around here has found morels yet and sold them to them. But it's just, it's a great place. They have some really big greenhouses throughout the state. And that's where they like start all of their plants for the greenhouse. And um, they employ a lot of people, um, seasonal people. Um, I just love that place. And their new building is absolutely gorgeous. It was so big. The other one was like really, really tiny space. So you were like walking all over people. Um, the new location is amazing and I love it. So, okay, enough about that. Let's see, we didn't really get a whole, we didn't buy a whole lot. I think I spent $50. Um, oh, I spilled my water all over. I think I spent $50. So, first things I got were two, two of the yellow onion because you guys, my last little garden video I did, I'm really worried about my onions. So, I wanted to get these and I'm gonna get these in the ground in the next day or so. And I got some celery because I didn't start any celery this year. I did last year, it did really good. Um, or was it the year before last? I don't know, last time I grew celery, it did really good. And then, look at this beauty. I got this um, foxglove. Hummingbirds are just about to be here and hummingbirds love foxglove. Can you guys see how beautiful that is? I love it, it's so pretty. And this thing, you know, it's a perennial here and it, it'll just get bigger and bigger every year. Love it. 
wait till you guys see the killer, killer, killer deal that we got. You're not going to believe it. Like, if someone told me about it, I would be like, you're lying. But this is real life. Price tags on it and everything. <laughs> Uh, just a couple bone-in pork chops. I actually um, was blessed by Carmen the other day. She sent me this pork chop um, kit from a company called Lane's, Lane's Barbecue. You guys, they handwrite their cards on everything, like... So she sent me this sweet tea brine and this apple pie seasoning. I've tasted it, you guys. That's gonna be killer on a pork chop. And then um, it came with a sample of this honey sriracha rub. OMG, this stuff is amazing. So thanks again, Carmen. Um, we're gonna have pork chops with that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait. It's gonna be yum. Yum, yum, yum. All right. They were just starting to bring their popcorn over. They have so many flavors of popcorn there. They, they do it all there. Um, I mean, you, you, you think of a flavor and they have it. It's just amazing. So she got some cheddar popcorn. These are our favorite pretzels. We got some tomato and basil cheddar. This stuff looks killer, you guys. Look at that. Yes. Love it. Some honey, it's still warm. Some honey for my honey. Okay, you guys, you're not gonna believe this deal, I'm telling you, because I was shocked. This big old bag of peppers here. Take a guess, how much, how much do you think this cost? Put it in the comments. Okay, fine, I'll tell you. One dollar, un dollar, hello. Can you believe that? One dollar. I mean, this is, y'all, this is a lot of, that's a lot of peppers. I sh so they had this bag and another bag. I should have grabbed the other bag because when we were coming, making our way back around the store, someone had snagged it. I should have. But I was trying, I wasn't trying to be greedy, you know. So that's what we got, not a lot. Uh, we didn't really go there to really buy anything. We went there to just see the new location. I'm sure I'll be back there probably in the next month or so. Um, and I'll definitely be hauling some stuff on that trip. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed coming along with us on that little adventure. If you guys have a local store like that in your area, please go support them. You know, it's just, it's wonderful to be able to do that. All right, so I'm going to get this stuff put away and I got other stuff to do. So until next time, guys, make sure you hit that like button, drop me a comment, and abundance and blessings to you. Bye-bye.